Oh my goodness, has NVIDIA had a meteoric rise, but now it's starting to show signs of exhaustion like it did the last time. So is it now time to sell first and ask questions later? Well, at least one veteran fund manager says so. He is selling the NVIDIA stock before it's split. Remember, the stock has now just toppled Apple with a $3 trillion market cap and the 10 to 1 split happens on Monday. So are these warning signs going to tell us that the stock's going to go down? Yes, we did get another blow off top with a higher low. But look at what happened today. We got a fairly bearish uh, article. So if people were already selling before the split and we got the $3 trillion market cap, well, look at this. Market chatter. Microsoft open AI NVIDIA under antitrust scrutiny for AI dominance. Okay, well, what happened? Uh, Apple's down. NVIDIA's down. Microsoft is uh, basically flat. But SMH is down by about 0.8%. So is that it? Is that going to be the meteoric rise? We're now up by nearly 50% on the year. Are we going to go lower? Well, uh, we've been bouncing around from fear and neutral for the last month. So what's the saying? Is it by fear? Yes, it's by fear. So if this was the fear to buy, we should be able to go back into greed as the market moves forward. We've also talked about some big tests for the bulls. And we got another one here. Yesterday, we saw the Bank of Canada cut. Today, we heard from the ECB, but we did not hear exactly what the market wanted. So they gave us a hawkish cut, right? Blah, blah, blah. Let's just read the articles here. Urges caution over speed and time of ECB rate cuts. All right. This article got changed earlier. She said, uh, we're, we're not going to, we're not sure about the future. So what do they tell us here? Hawkish rate cut, blah, blah, blah. So if we got a hawkish rate cut, uh, but now the US is still baking in one cut in, in September and then actually two cuts as of right now here for December. Well, what that pretty much means is that the market needs to be ready for surprises. Traders are stunned by election surprises from Mexico to India. So uh, traders were stunned, and now they're shifting their focus to votes happening in Europe and the U.S. But like I mentioned, the bulls faced a major test this weekend. Those elections were a surprise. What happened? Well, we're going to come back and look at some charts a little bit later in the show. But like we mentioned before, if there are signs of exhaustion, like it's fairly easy to see what's going to happen here. Why? Well, when in doubt, zoom out. So let's look here to our weekly chart. What do we have? Oh my goodness, another hollow candle. What does hollow mean? It means there is an expansion by definition. I know it's hard to see on the screen, but what it literally means is that the open and the close are higher. So when we see a hollow candle, we know that here's where we opened, here's where we closed. On a full candle, it's just the opposite. The higher number is going to be the open, the lower number is going to be the close. So open, close. So when it's hard to see the chart, ironically, it means we're expanding. Here we expanded for, I believe, 11 weeks in a row. How many so far? Well, it's pretty easy to check. We got currently seven. So if last time it was 11, now we got seven. Can we keep going higher? Well, of course we can. There's things we look for too. What is it? Are we over the previous candle high? Yes, we are. So as of right now, NVIDIA passes. It's bullish. And this tells me like, hey, it might be 1995. We're also rocking a, a solid daily uptrend. And what the bears need to see are daily lower lows. I'll come back and look at this at the very end of the show. But we went through this for the last few days here. So I've been making an effort to share the notes. And we did something very bullish today too. Look, like we back tested our previous resistance, which is at 533.07. What's our low of the day? We're looking for the low over here. It's 532.68. What does that mean? We just back tested and bounced off the previous monthly all-time high. What is that? I'm not sure if you know this by now, but it's bullish. So the red line that we have here as a monthly higher high in resistance comparing to last month. Yeah, we back tested that. We passed. What is it? It's bullish. And like I just mentioned, when we see hollow candles, it means that we're going up. One month of consolidation, just like the fear shows us here. Let's jump back to that uh, CNN. So yeah, like a month ago, we're in fear. A week ago, we're in fear. Well, if that's the bottom, and now we're in blue sky territory, what does that tell us? Well, we're expanding, right? The market's un un uneasy. It's unsure. But hey, who cares? We make money when the price goes up. And right now, the price is going up. The market closed technically red by one cent. So like I said, we'll come back and look at some charts at the end. But here's where we're going to face another test for the bulls. So maybe that's why fear and greed is not really moving. There were a couple surprises surprises this week. As we look forward to uh, the rest of the week, well, we got payroll Friday tomorrow. We'll talk about that in a moment. Then we got the big dog Apple. So Apple's not included in this antitrust. I don't know, right? Government always wants to stick their big nose in business. 
And just uh, before I forget, if you guys could please consider smashing a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. So there's only really two companies that are named that are public. Microsoft and OpenAI have a partnership and NVIDIA. So I'm really curious what's going to happen with Apple. They're like, hey, Apple, you're not even relevant when it comes to AI. And I take that pretty seriously, right? If I was Tim, Tim Cook or Tim Apple, I'd be like, oh, they're hurting my feelings, right? We're not even in the conversation. Why? Well, antitrust means they dominate the market, Ugh, right? So Apple has to come in and do something. Read this headline right here. App, uh, topples Apple with $3 trillion market cap. Woof, right? Come on, Jensen. So if we look here back to these uh, these market caps, let's go to no group. Did they actually hold it today? We'll find out. So Microsoft's still the king, 3.155. All right, let's look at Apple. Apple's at 2.98. Oh my goodness, just below 3 trillion. There's Jensen, 2.976. So that's right, right back in the third spot. All right, we'll see what happens going into the 10th. But like I said, we now got payroll Friday tomorrow. And this is where I don't know what's going to happen. Market looks incredibly resilient. I am seeing buyers exactly where I would expect them to. If what used to be resistance acts as support, it's bullish. Why? It's building a staircase of support as we go higher. So what is it? It's a staircase of support. Yes, we take the staircase up and the elevator down. But we need to see warning signs like at least printing lower lows. Otherwise, higher highs are bullish. Bulls are playing defense. It's super easy to see here on the monthly chart. What do we have? Low, higher, low, higher, low. High, higher, high, higher, high. What is that? It's three candles. It's a pattern. Yes, the candle's still open. It's not closed out. But as of right now, we're getting every indication that we're seeing buyers show up exactly where we expect them to. Right now, it's at 533. Right, they got it down 32 cents more. Right, these bears suck. They're crying dragon tears because they're probably hangry, hungry and angry. All right, so Fed's going to cut in September and December, but and there were surprises. So if it's true that they're now shifting the focus and going to reprice things, this is where it gets really interesting because tomorrow, if we get average hourly earnings tick up and or unemployment do something we're not expecting or come in in line, what is the reaction? I'll show you why this really matters. If we now go here to a weekly chart, again, we're over last week's high. That's bullish for a weekly candle close. For the NASDAQ, same thing, record closing high over the previous candle highs. But here's a chart you might not have looked at that is super important, and it's resting exactly on the number that matters. So as of right now, we're looking for a head and shoulders, knees and toes, which means rejecting off of 433 or this left shoulder here. However, if we look a little bit closer, look at the 50 moving average, right? We're down by about 5% on the 10-year note. If we close below this, that means there's going to be likely even more momentum for stocks. Why? Hey, when yields go down, uh, it means financial conditions are tightening and the market usually goes up. On the same token here, we see the VIX down by about 2.6% and the dollar's also down. We're right on support. So wherever we close out tomorrow, I believe this is going to impact us. Do we get a bullish surprise, a hawkish surprise, or right in line? And then remember, there's the news versus the reaction to the news. With that said, if you want to come hang out with me at 9.15 a.m. tomorrow, click on the right. If not, click on the left. And thank you very much for your support. I'll see you on the next video.